So when we're looking at a reptile x-ray, um, the hard part is since they don't have that diaphragm, everything's just on top of each other. So this is our heart, and this is actually our stomach. But the thing is though, our stomach doesn't usually live there. Our stomach is usually down here. What? But whatever this is, is pushing things up. And I'm guessing that's why we feel uncomfortable because something abnormal is here. Yeah, My it's goodness. it's quite large. Um, so at oh, first, I thought they were her fat pads on ultrasound. So reptiles have, they don't carry fat in their, under their skin and stuff like mammals do. They have actual structures in their bellies. So they usually have one that goes here and they have one that goes here. But fat doesn't usually show up this bright on x-ray. This is likely her fat pad and this is her fat pad. And then this structure, I'm not sure what it is. Wow. Um, I have lots of ultrasound images of it um, and I'm gonna show them to Dr. Corcoran. We gave her fluids, we're gonna give her pain meds, the tramadol, and then we're gonna give her an assist feeding formula. Um, um, but I am concerned just in general about this structure. Um, it's not a tumor, right? That... It, it could be. Possibly. It could be a tumor. Um, it could be a granuloma. It could be a, which is a old abscess. Um, Granuloma, you said, right? Correct. Oh. Um, but everything is just being pushed away from it. Um, yeah. And then when we look at the image on her side here, like something is just big right oh. here. So her head is this way and her yeah. bum is this yeah. way. This is most likely GI tract. This right here is liver, this little like gray area. Um, but this doesn't belong there. Um, and the question just is, what what is it and what can we do about it? If it's a mass, while we're in there taking a sample, you just take it out uh, if we can. Um, so the big question just is, is what is this? Um, we can do all of the pre-surgical testing in the world. We could do a cytology, we could do a CT. The important thing is she'll be on pain meds, she has hydration for today, and we're gonna get her some nutritional support. So that is all, we're covering all of our bases on palliative care. Um, and at the end of the day, I just want her suffering to be as minimal as absolutely possible.